Hi, I'm Mr. Daly. I'm going to do a quick demonstration on cleaning film, which I've done in class, but this way you can review this on your own and uh, hopefully get better at it. Uh, just remember, it's not a difficult thing to do and it shouldn't be that time consuming. So here we go. Uh, first off, when you go into the dark room, you will have two different negative carriers, silver X and all black. If it has a silver X on it, that means that this rectangle is the exact same size as the frame of the film. So you should not see any uh, clear lines, which would end up being black lines on the positive print. Uh, and then this is the all black uh, negative carrier, which means that the carrier's rectangular window is slightly larger than the frame. And so you would see a clear line between frame and negative carrier, and that clear line becomes a black line on the print. I'm going to grab you a couple examples so you can see what they look like. So you can pause that. Okay. Uh, random, but coincidentally, they both have rabbits in the subject matter, which is just completely random. I pulled these off the wall of fame. Uh, the silver X would look like this. So you can see it fits perfectly, and it's 100% of the image and uh, nothing else. And then the all black one is slightly larger, and therefore you see a clear gap, and try to center your negative as, as best as possible in the carrier so that black line is even. Uh, and it's really completely up to you. Some people, I actually do like the black line, but some people do not, so it doesn't matter to me. It will not impact your grade. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just use the all black one. So when loading your film, all this stuff will be done at the three cleaning stations. There are two boxes. One box has cleaning supplies. That would be Q-tips and wipes. Uh, the loops, which you can use on the light table to see your negatives up close. Denatured alcohol, tape if you need tape. And then this box has all the dusting uh, supplies. There's, pus there's puffers, there's brushes that will also puff air. There's just paint brushes and even makeup brushes. Uh, so it's really your choice. I prefer a good old paint brush because that's the way I was taught. Okay. So, the chant we learned in class is when do we clean our film, and the answer is when it's dirty. Uh, there's no need to clean it if, it if you're taking care of it. I like to clean over something black. You may be able to see here that the, the image is a little bit distracting, in my opinion. I prefer to look at it over black so I can see just uh, the dirt. Grabbing a Q-tip, grab a wipe, have it ready to go. I can do all this one-handed, in a sense. Make sure the Q-tip is clean. If they're dirty, pitch it. Make sure the wipe is clean. If it's dirty, pitch it. So where do we clean? And that is in the air. So I'm going to swipe over the entire frame into the neighboring frames. I'm going to move this so you can see the negative. So again, swipe into the neighboring frames. And then dry it before it evaporates. The alcohol evaporates very quickly matter of maybe 10, 15 seconds, and that will leave an evaporation line, therefore dirtying your two neighboring negatives. But again, it's important to dry the alcohol because it will leave an evaporation line in the two neighboring negatives. So you clean one and then dirty the other two. So please don't do that. Put stuff away when you're done, and that's all it takes to clean it. Now, loading your negative. There should be one piece of tape and one piece of tape only, and I'll explain why that's important here in a second. Uh, I want the image upside down. So if you look here, this has a human face on it. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I'm going to load it upside down. And the emulsion side of the film is the dull side of the film. If you actually look at the film, you'll see that that has the uh, light sensitive material on it. And this is just plastic. So I'm going to load that underneath all four metal pegs, not touching the film, just the perforated edge. You can load it in like that. You can actually slide it in like this. And then upside down, emulsion side down, dead center. When you're centering it, you want to look straight through it, not at an angle, straight through it. One piece of tape only, that's it. The one piece of tape allows you to make slight adjustments in the darkroom. It's just keeping it in place so it doesn't fall out of the sleeve or out of the carrier. Close it down. All right, double check that it's centered. Now, I always want to dust the entire carrier, and I want to dust while the carrier is closed because it's the last thing we'll do. And I'm going to come back to greasing if we do need to grease. Uh, I'll take my dust brush and clean, clean it on my pant leg, and then I take uh, the dust brush on my hairline to build up a static charge, and then I'm going to look for 
the actual dust. And don't just blindly dust. A lot of times all you're doing is moving it around. So look for the dust and the dust should jump to the static charge of the brush. That's that. Now, if you find that you have a scratch on your negative, you're going to grease it. I hold it with my left thumb. Again, I'm not touching the film itself. I'm going to take uh, my finger and I'm going to get some grease off of my nose. Usually the edges or the tip and or even your forehead will get oily. And then I'm going to grease that negative. I'm going to start outside the frame, go through the entire frame, and end outside of the frame because I will leave a fingerprint. Like so. Close it. So we do that in the carrier open. And now I want to be very careful as I walk into the dark room loading my negative. If I do get dust in the grease, I'm going to you can try the puffers. I find that the grease sometimes will hold that dust in there. So I typically will just grease it out and then head on in there and begin testing. That's how you clean your film.